Okay, so today I will be sharing with you two garments that I have made recently. So the first one that I want to talk about is a pants pattern. It is McCall's 7098. I made view F and I made it in a brown corduroy that I found from Saber's thrift store. Some of the features in this pattern, there are front pockets, there is a mock fly front zipper, and there are seams that go down the front of the leg and down the back of the leg, which I really like. However, you can't really see them in my pair of pants, but if I ever make this again, then I can maybe do something to try to make the, those seams stand out a little bit. Now, these pants were actually too big on me, and I did adjust the crotch, but I don't think I adjusted it enough, so I folded up the middle section just to kind of raise the crotch a little bit and then also there was some gaping in the back when I put on the waistband so I had to sew a little dart down the back to try to close that gap up a little bit so I'm not too too crazy about the outcome but it's wearable so it's okay but I did want to go ahead and still show these pants to you and one of the things that I really really liked about these pants is in the front right at the bottom where your hem is there is a split and I really like that detail in this pattern so I thought that that was really really cute so you'll get to see what those look like one other thing that I changed was that for the front closure it called for a hook and eye and I just decided to put a button instead of a hook and eye so yes that is it I think those are all the things that I wanted to make sure that I made mention of for this pattern. Now my next pattern is one that I just love. Like have you ever made something and then you think where have you been all my life? That is exactly how I feel about this second make. So this is a vintage pattern and this is Simplicity, I was about to say McCall's, Simplicity 6042. This is a 1973 pattern. I made view three, which is the one in the middle. I loved this pattern. When I saw it, I found it on Etsy. And when I saw the little ruffle in the middle and around the sleeves, I was like, oh, that is so cute. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you may know that I absolutely love bodysuits like I cannot get enough of bodysuits and so when I saw that not only did it have rough ruffles and all of that but it was a bodysuit I was like oh yeah I have to have this so I ordered the pattern and it came and I sewed it up right away so I made it in white and I purchased this the knit that I made it out of it from Joanne Fabrics some of the features there is a zipper in the back it does have a high collar like a kind of like a turtleneck and I added hook and eyes to the back which the pattern did suggest to do um, I think the pattern only called for one but I had to put two in mine and then of course it has the gathers around the front and, the, and over the sleeve area yeah so those are the only features in the uh, pattern one thing that I did have to do or one thing that I did was I reduced the sleeve because it was wide it looked like a bell it was kind of like a bell shaped and I didn't want that because I figured it would be really really wide on me so I have the pattern here so what I did was I folded the sleeve pattern in half so this is it but this is after it was altered so I folded it in in half to reduce the width and then I started from like maybe an inch or so down from the top and I just cut straight down to kind of get rid of the bell. The bell was kind of like, the pattern kind of went like this at first. Oops, it's kind of windy. Well, the pattern went out and once I folded it over, I just cut that out part off and just went straight down. So I hope that makes sense. But yeah, it worked. So I was really happy with the outcome. So the bell is, is there. There's a little bit of a kind of a deep opening, but not 
definitely not as big or as wide as it was before. So I like that a lot better. I think the reason why the, the sleeves were so wide is because they wanted you to put elastic around the bottom hem and I chose not to do that. So I just left the hem, you know, just with just open like a regular hem. And I do like the way that the elastic was put into the bottom of the leg opening. And this was the first time I, well, this is the second time because I made another vintage bodysuit that was similar, had the similar directions. But the thing that it suggested that you do is when you get to the leg opening, you fold the raw edge in, sew it down and make a casing. And then you just thread the elastic through the casing and then that's how you get the elastic in. So I thought that that was so cool and different because every other time that I've made a bodysuit, I just sewed the elastic directly onto the leg opening. And that works too, but I have had some times where it didn't come out as even or I pulled too much and all of that. But this way, when you just thread it through, it seemed like I got more of an, of an even outcome. So I like that. So anyway, that was it. That, those were the two things that I did differently with the sleeve and you know, well I didn't the I did the elastic different, but that was just because that was the way that the pattern said to do it. So yeah, that is it. So I will go ahead and show you what these two garments look like on. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So I have been sharing a couple of ways that you can show different things on your screen, your tablet or your television screen to create an ambiance in a room. So one other one that I wanted to share with you is on YouTube, you can type in Fish Tank HD and you will get a whole host of different videos that you can click on and you can play them and it will show fish swimming in an aquarium on the screen and that can kind of create like a calming or relaxing mood in a room. One of the ones that I like like is dream aquarium you can actually just type in dream aquarium and you will get this beautiful picture of these fish and they are all different colors and i don't know if you'll be able to see it out here in this light but i did pull it up but i don't know if you can see that but it's actually an aquarium of fish just swimming around on the screen and it's, it's just so nice and just another way to relax if you're into that or you're looking for a way to kind of create a space or something relaxing in a room that you're in. So yes, I wanted to share that because I thought it was so cool. And yeah, that is it for this video and you will see me in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.